Why invest in rental real estate? So let's start with the basics. There are four different ways that you can make money with rental real estate. The first is cash flow. So that's the difference between your expenses that you have every month, including your mortgage and probably a maintenance set aside and the amount that you get in rent. So if your mortgage is 1600, you save an extra 200 bucks for future maintenance, but you can rent it for $2,000, that $200 in there is your monthly cash flow. Second thing is appreciation. So that's when the market goes up and the home value goes up that is your money uh, as the owner of the house. You also get depreciation, which is a tax write-off. It's not a real loss, but it helps you to save money on your taxes. And what it ends up doing is a lot of the cash flow that you receive from the property ends up being tax-free. And the last thing is something called amortization which is the fact that somebody else is paying down your loan for you. So every month that that payment is made, you get a little bit more equity. So now let's compare real estate with stocks. So when you buy a stock, you're buying a very small portion of a company of which you have absolutely no control. The CEO can tank that company, the market can tank that company, and there's nothing that you can do about it. You've paid all cash for that stock and you're gonna get whatever it's gonna give you. If it's a high dividend stock, you get some income, but it usually doesn't grow very much. Or growth stocks don't really pay many dividends. So you're, you're totally out of control. Ask your stockbroker to give you a stock that has strong dividends, a great potential for growth, one that you can pay for with fixed payments over 30 years and one that you own 100%, you have control over the company. So in other words, you've bought the company and there's very real things that you can do to positively affect its value. And you want very strong tax benefits. And by the way, you want somebody else to pay those payments for you over 30 years. So if you can do that, then I'll believe that investing in stocks is better than real estate. So let's take a look at an example. So if you had $100,000, and you're in stocks, and it went up 10%, you would make $10,000. Now to receive any benefit from that, you'd have to sell it. And then you'd pay capital gains tax or normal income tax rates, depending on how long you've held that stock. So that's somewhere between 20 to 36% of your gains. Now, if you had that same $100,000 and you used it as a down payment uh, to purchase a $400,000 property, and that property went up 10%, you've just made $40,000. And to receive some benefit from that, you don't have to sell the property. You don't have to kill the goose that lays the golden egg. So you can get a cash out refinance, get out a lot of that equity, and you maintain ownership, and that money you receive is tax free because it's technically a loan. It is not earned income. So I dare you to go to a bank Show the bank that you have $100,000 and then ask to borrow another $300,000 to buy stocks. No bank is gonna do that for you. They're not gonna invest their money or risk it in a paper asset that could go down 50% in one day. But that transaction happens every single day in real estate. All right, now there's one more reason how real estate or that real estate will uh, make you wealthy over a long period of time. And it has to do with a concept called the time value of money. Simply stated, that means the dollars in your pocket right now are worth more than those same dollars are gonna be worth in the future. So for a rental real estate property, you're making payments over 30 years, but the amount of money you have to pay every single month stays the same, even though that those dollars are worth less every passing year due to inflation. So inflation is the rising of prices. So that effect of paying back with cheaper and cheaper dollars is another investment return for you. So I'm planning on making more videos like this in the future that teach about rental real estate. So please check back soon. And if you know anyone in Colorado who's looking for home financing, please send them my way. I would love to serve them. Ryan Yonke, 719 210 5517.